Hi everyone, this is Ramkrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, AP SEC 2019 Differential Equations question number 41 from Papa 2. And the question is, the singular solution of the differential equation P equals to log of Px minus y with the usual notations is dash. And the four options are option number 1, y is equal to x square into e power x minus x. Option number 2, y is equal to x square into e power x minus 1. Option number 3, y is equal to x into e power x minus log x and option number 4 y is equal to x into log x minus 1. So we have to choose one correct option from this 4. So clearly this is uh, a clear out differential equation. So first we have to recall the clear out differential equation. So here we have the definition. So the differential equation is of the form y is equal to xp plus f of p is called a Clairaut's equation. That means the given equation can be written in the form y is equal to xp plus f of p. Here f is a function in terms of p and the given differential equation can be written as y is equal to xp plus f of p. Then it is of the form Clairaut's equation form. So here by substituting the real number c then it becomes a general solution of the given Clairaut's differential equation. So that is the general solution of Clairaut's equation is y is equal to cx plus f of c where c is a real number means that is an arbitrary constant number. So but in the given problem it is asked that uh, we have to find the singular solution of the differential equation. So singular solution means it does not contain any arbitrary constants. That is if this solution does not contain any arbitrary constant this is not a general solution. In particular, this solution is called the singular solution of Clairaut's uh, equation. So, we have to find the singular solution of the given Clairaut's differential equation. So, first we have to rewrite the given equation. So, given equation is given differential equation is P is equal to log of px minus y. Now taking exponentials on both sides we get uh, e power p is equal to e to the power log of px minus y that is px minus y. From this we get uh, y is equal to px minus e power p and note that here the notation p is equal to dy by dx. Here the notation p is equals to dy by dx derivative of y with respect to x. So we have y is equals to px minus e power p. Let it be equation number 1. Now comparing this equation with the uh, Clairaut's equation, it is of the form y is equal to px plus uh, f of p. Here f of p is nothing but minus e power p. So directly we get the general solution of this uh, equation by taking p is equals to arbitrary some constant c then it becomes a general solution of the given Clairaut's equation. So, but here the question is about to find the singular solution of the given Clairaut's equation. For that we have to differentiate equation 1 with respect to x. So differentiating equation 1 with respect to x we get dy by dx is equals to derivative of px by using uv formula this is x into dp by dx plus p into derivative of x is 1 minus e power p into dp by dx that is but here the notation dy by dx is nothing but p so p is equals to taking dp by dx as common we get this is x minus e power p into dp by dx plus p. So p p will be gets cancelled it reminds with x minus e power p into dp by dx is equals to 0. Okay. So that implies we get uh, dp by dx is equals to 0 let it be equation number 2 and another factor is x minus e power p 
is equals to zero. Let it be question number three. So from two, we get uh, DP is equals to zero, and here x minus e power p is equals to zero. So here by integrating we get uh, p is equals to some arbitrary constant c where c is a real number. Okay, c is a real number. So by substituting p is equal to c in the given equation one, we can get the general solution of the given differential equation. So therefore from one we get y is equal to what cx minus e power c is the general solution of given differential equation but we have to find the singular solution of the given differential equation for that from 3 we get uh, x is equals to e power p so whenever x is equal to e power p taking log on both sides we get log x is equals to p so let it be question number 4 now substituting 4 in equation 1 we get y is equals to x log x minus e power log x and this value is nothing but uh, it is y is equal to x log x minus x that is y is equal to taking x as common we get x into log x minus 1 so it does not containing any arbitrary constant so y is equal to x into log x minus 1 is the singular solution of given differential equation 1 therefore therefore option number 4 is correct is it clear option number 4 is correct i hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos Thanks for watching.